and welcome to Cooking with Sarah. I'm here in FTB Horizons. This is a brand new Horizons world. I've They have had a pretty significant update and it's made my previous world, um, at least the restaurant they're in, a little ugly and then there are some things missing textures out in the world so I figured it would be safest just to make a whole new world here. So I don't have a home yet. I'm, I'm homeless here in, uh, in Horizons. But that's okay. I found this village, and I took over this little shop here. It has the original floor, and that's about all that's left that's original. So there we go. There's our, there's a little village. So I've taken over this little place. I've remodeled a little, remodeled it a little bit. Welcome to the Holy Dough Donut Shop. One of the things that has been added... Whoops. Wrong button. Or at least that I didn't notice in the uh, previous version of Horizons as uh, Carpenter Blocks. Carpenter's Blocks has been added, so we got this cool steel door here, and this cool little counter here. Bibliocraft is still not in the pack. However, at least we do have Ganny's Surface, <coughs> which adds these cool little item displays, which are fairly cheap to make. They're upside down, well, they're glass pane pants, and then one red carpet in the bottom. And you put your, put your doodad in. Where's my donut? There's, there's my donut. I'm just gonna put that back in there. That's five second rule applies, right? And it will sit there and spin and look pretty. Those are just for display anyway. Those aren't the real donuts. But a couple of weeks ago, um, I had somebody do a request for a donut shop, and I did say way back in season one that you could pretty much do a whole show just on donuts because there are so many varieties of them. So let's get started with that. The first thing we're gonna make is just the standard plain cake donut. So. That is going to require a pot, and I forgot to get the pot and the cooking oil, that's okay, and some dough. Notice that the Pam's dough and the agriculture dough are interchangeable. Personally, I prefer to use the Pam's dough. That is up to you, personal preference-wise. Let me go ahead and uh, call in the emergency uh, airdrop chef supply here. There we go. And cooking oil you get by doing what now? Either putting olives in the juicer, or seeds in the juicer, sunflower seeds, or walnuts in the juicer. Sunflower seeds are probably your best bet. They grow wild. They're everywhere. We're also going to need to get some uh, flour, salt, water, and a cutting board to make the dough. So let's do that. Let's put the cutting board up here. There we go. Um, flour, salt, water, cutting board. I thought that was how you made dough. How you made dough. How do you dough? <laughs> how do you dough? Let's see. Don't, don't wit. Donut. Is a mixing bowl. It used to be a cutting board. Okay. Today I learned. That's all right. Okay, let's just call uh, Chef Supply. There we go. And there we go. Okay. I got 64 dough. Let's put that away. Let's get the pot and the cooking oil and the dough and fry up the donuts. This is the basic donut. This is where all the rest of your donuts come from. So, let's say you don't want just the plain cake donut. You want a cinnamon sugar donut. Okay, fine. Let's get some ground cinnamon and some sugar. We can do this right here in our 2x2. Two two. Pop. Sugar. Cinnamon. Now you can leave the cinnamon off, like so. Oops, let's throw the donuts on the floor. That, that's okay. They're, they're still good. <laughs> Just blow the germs off of them. You know, that's... that's oh, God, stop throwing the, throw, stop throwing the donut on the floor, Sarah. But yeah, yeah, you do that. Don't tell me you don't do that. You drop some drop a piece of food on the floor, you pick it up, you blow on it, apparently. That sanitizes it. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, now that I'm going to get the Department of Health called on me, that they're probably gathering outside right now as we speak. Here is our plain donut. You throw some powdered sugar on it, and that will give you the powdered donut. You want to get a little bit fancier. Let's get a little bit of dye. And this one, I think we're going to have to do on the crafting table. Because it's going to take a donut... I forgot the sugar. It's okay. Just grab some out of here. There we go. Sugar. Some yellow dye. 
red dye and green dye, all natural, all from organically grown cactus and flowers and stuff. That will give you a fancy frosted donut, an unfulfilling large meal. Yep. And finally, let's say, oh, no, not quite finally. You want your jelly donut, your nice messy grape jelly donut. There you go, put your donut and your jelly in the donut. It's that simple. Last but not least, you have your chocolate donut, if you prefer that. Chocolate is, show me how to chocolate. You'll need a saucepan, some butter, some milk, and cocoa powder. And of course, for butter, you can substitute, I think you can substitute some, some form of tofu for that. For the fresh milk, you can substitute soy milk. There it is, okay. So, let's just grab a donut, throw it in there. And there is our chocolate donut, all ready to go. And let's just put all these away. We'll put them in the in the cooler there. Now, what do you drink with donuts? You drink coffee with donuts, don't you? And uh, save the best for last, update-wise. Tropicraft has been added to FTB Horizons. So, you can now go to the tropics. You can now harvest these delicious coffee beans coffee berries. You put them in your 2x2 two two like so, you'll get raw coffee beans. You will need to roast these before you can use them. So just throw them in your furnace, and we'll get us some raw coffee, or some roasted coffee beans here. Uh, this uh, tropical coffee here, it really needs tropical water to bring out the flavor in the beans. So we will brew it with some fresh tropics water. Get yourself a bamboo mug, and you make a bamboo mug. Oops. There we go. It's upside down bamboo pants. And bamboo grows everywhere. So you should have no trouble finding it. You get a bamboo, bamboo mug, bucket of tropics water, and you have to do this on a crafting table, don't you? Okay, that's fine. Coffee beans, water. Uh, maybe you have to do it in a drink mixer. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Coffee. Oops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, I have a feeling you have to do that in a drink mixer. Let's try it. Let's just uh, make one more call to emergency chef supply here. Drink mixer. There we go. Oh, sorry there, Mocha Master. Uh, you'll have to just kind of chill over there. All right, so... Well, it work. Work, please. There's the bucket of tropics water. There's the beans. There's the mug. Okay, there we go. Now it's doing its thing. There we go. Oh, I bet I was trying to use the raw beans. There we go. That gives us a nice black coffee, fresh from the tropics. Of course, I'm not hungry, so I can't drink that just yet. So, and that is our brief tour of Holy Dough, the donut factory. <laughs> and as always, if there is a certain kind of restaurant you'd like to see, or a certain kind of cuisine, or even if there is a food mod that I have not covered that you would like me to look at, please drop me a comment and let me know. Another thing to go over real quick like, you may have noticed that there are now ads on my videos. That's the thing has, I have done the thing, the thing has been done, I have been partnered. And I understand if you hate ads on your videos, I really do. If you hate them, please, you know, turn ad block off, don't tell me you're turning it off, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but, you know, I understand. But if you do, I would appreciate it if you would at least consider supporting me in one of the other ways that I have available. But otherwise, just enjoy the enjoy the videos and try not to <laughs> enjoy the videos and enjoy the ads if you can. I know it's their ads. They stink. It's okay. I understand. But that is all for today. And until next time, bon appetit. I will see you next week, folks. Bye-bye.